Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back for some more EVE Online. In today's video, we are trying to find an MR ship for some exploration. So last week, we saw that the Caracal Navy issue with the five small drones, in my opinion, makes for a decent exploration platform. And of course, some people like to fly their own race. Uh, or the ships from their own race and as a result uh, I think that looking for an alternative for Amar and uh, perhaps Minmatar although that's gonna be tricky uh, is something that could be interesting and so for uh, Amar well I'm gonna take a look at the curse uh, take two so definitely more expensive than the Caracal uh, Navy issue but I think that basically for ease of use uh, again cap stable shield tank which is not really what it's meant uh, for um, and then missiles and drones is, uh, is is like a really really big plus so here uh, very first uh, system that I, I scan in fact I just logged on to EVE online and I find a 3 out of 10 so we're just gonna dive right in uh, my idea here is I'm gonna actually use the medium drones they get a nice bonus to HP and damage from the curse and so these guys should technically um, have a very easy time surviving uh, in this site and I can just let them loose on the enemy and uh, the question is will these hammerhead twos have good application on these small uh, drones uh, small enemies I should say not drones that looked quite all right so we're gonna target some more stuff we're gonna start to fire at the black ops here which uh, might have good loot usually it doesn't and yep yeah, cap stable with the shield booster I actually grabbed the B type from the jackdaw and here we go look at that Look at that damage on the Black Ops. That is definitely not bad. And so my medium hammerheads are now just going to keep working on the rest. I like to go with individual uh, missile launchers on smaller targets. You can see half shields from a single missile. Two of them shields are gone. Let's see what a third one does. Yeah, about a third of the armor. That is quite decent as well. Another third of the armor, eh, you're halfway. So it's not great damage from the missiles, but that's not the point. And there is one of my hammerheads actually under attack and they are chewing through those shields. So we're actually gonna return this fellow. And this is 4,000 meters away. But in the meantime, oops, and another one is being tested as well. You know what we're gonna do? We're just quickly going to switch out to the small drones because this one actually just went into armor. Okay, still gotta be careful when it comes to the drones. They're not as strong as the Gila drones. And let's also use my missiles. And then we do have a flight of small drones as well. This is something that for the Minmatar ships is going to be uh, basically a real problem. Uh, they have these weird drone base and drone capacities. Uh, so it's not going to be easy to find something that works as well uh, or as close to an Ishtar, a Gila or something like that uh, for the Minmatar. It's the question for this video. Is there uh, a Minmatar cruiser that you enjoy using uh, for exploration? Definitely let me know in the comments so that I can take a look at it and try to find what is in my opinion the best uh, option for uh, Minmatar pilots. For Amar pilots, I really think the curse uh, is going to give you the easiest time. You can see here how well it did in the first room. And then in the second room, I guess we'll just go straight towards the uh, Black Ops. We'll do so slowly. I don't want to uh, like overstress anything here, but uh, the idea here is to also see how we are going to perform. There's a lot of DPS coming from all of these destroyers. So in the meantime, we are almost reloaded. We are going to try maybe two launchers on a single target. How does that perform? Give it just a little moment to grab a little bit of aggro. There we go. You can see they're starting to really target me. And then... We are going to again deploy our medium drones. Grab a couple more targets. First ones go down. All right, not great. The missile damage is definitely not what is uh, the strongest point of this ship. But then we are going to try and put these hammerheads on individual uh, targets. And just basically try to clean the side up quickly and efficiently while we slowly approach the centers. And yeah. This way, um, slow approach, you can see that the incoming damage is negligible. You can just keep your wrapper going. So just like with the Jackdaw, as long as you don't dive in too aggressively, you are going to be fine. That one is down. We have to start the targets. This one. 
and perhaps we could see if my missiles can break this uh, Black Ops Commander. Ought to be tricky, might not be possible, but it's a good test to see how well they perform. Rapid lights, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, rapid lights. So that ought to be a decent amount of DPS just because of the rapid rate of fire. And is that, yeah, one of my hammerheads actually decides to join in. So that's gonna be handy. The rest are taking care of the sentry guns, it seems. And we are slowly getting through the shields here. Just keep hitting that. You can see, yeah, the tank. We are taking some extra damage at this point. Let's burst. This we just got through. So this felt pretty good in my opinion. Uh, this time, you know what, we have just the right amount. So we're going to see what kind of damage application our hammerheads have on these destroyers. Uh, well, it's a faction piece, but it's not great. And here now you've got just one hammerhead on a destroyer. You can see a couple of volleys. This one is down. Yeah, that's one hit in armor. Bit of wrapping, second hit armor is gone. And then a third hit will usually take care of the target. So not bad. Um... And I like the idea that I can basically, just like with the Gila, deploy my medium drones and have them deal all uh, or most of the damage. Because that is what this ship is actually about. It's not about the missiles. It's definitely about the drones. We're going to continue. Perhaps we find another good site. Something like a Vigil could be a good test of the tank. And a 4 out of 10 is basically uh, the, the site that all of them need to do quite easily. Especially that second room where you've got, well, how well are you applying your DPS? How quickly do you do the first room and can you just dive straight for the loot in the second room uh, because that's where the real dps test comes in of course if you're curious about the fits we'll quickly uh, I'll, I'll start actually with the show info um, just to show you guys that we are this is not what the ship is is meant to do uh, this is a pvp ship with energy neutralizer bonuses and uh, it's also invisible on directional scanner so it's actually something that i personally uh, think of using in wormhole space but I am trying to find that cruiser for uh, the Amar here. That's that's the goal of this video. And I think this is your best option for, uh, you know, ease of use in PvE at the moment. So here we go. We've got a couple more signatures. Oh, and yeah, about the fit. Quickly go over that. So rapid lights here. Get a shield type, an active shield tank. We are cap stable. Big focus on EM and thermal. EM and thermal because, of course, shield resistances are terrible. Uh, micro drive, three drone damage amplifiers. That's a lot of your DPS. Almost 400 DPS with the hammerheads. Then we get a damage control too. And this was actually for my PvP fit that I put a microprocessor and this one here. So you could maybe increase your tank a little bit uh, with uh, one of these rig slots if you want to. Let's get back to these signatures. Four of them in Chunkia. That is not bad. Potentially, there might be something good here. Three people in local, myself included. So let's take a quick look and see what we can find. But we already saw uh, three out of ten against small targets. This will do the job quite well. And what are you? Get a capsule that just comes in. So that's not competition for me at the moment. Uh, another wormhole, all right. Down here, what are you? And then the last one, hmm. Bit more annoying. Okay. That's a combat site, all right. Let's go take a look. IGF 640. Uh, that's not too big and not that good of a result, so it might be something good. It's Sasha Watch. Uh, don't really like those, um, just because the chance for good loot is a bit smaller, although there is a true Sasha, and it's quite hard to do. We'll, we'll see if this is anything good. Maybe it's a good test. I, I usually skip them, just because they take so long. It's basically the biggest problem. All right, where the hell are you? Back up here somewhere. But uh, if this is not anything good, I might actually uh, dive into that Sasha watch. Uh, Alright, this one looks really tricky to find. Let's see what we're talking about here. So the Sasha watch is going to be all the way down here. 
data sites. All right, makes some sense. So let's see if we can actually finish this one. I usually like the Vigil as a, a tank test because that one is fast uh, to do as, as well. You get that initial uh, tank test and then on the, in the second room, well, you've got that E-War to deal with. So that's where the drones come uh, in handy as well. And then the 4 out of 10 I like as my go-to site. As I've said, first room, see how well your damage is, how quickly can you run through that. Second room, you also have a tank test if you want to dive for the target. And so a Sancha watch, um, I think, is uh, even harder to do. We might need to do a little bit of kiting. We might also need to use our small drones uh, to, uh, to have faster re response time if they do decide to target me. And we have lots of turrets right off the bat i think so let's go though no, let's give it a, let's give it a try this is the curse um and we want to see if it can handle this watch or not might be interesting so off we go it does look really really nice a bit fragile right here in the middle you've got this this strange like a set of uh like a skeleton basically uh so that is not Looking too sturdy, but it, it's sleek, feels dangerous, really nice, and I love the drone bay right here at the front. And then with this skin, you've got this, it, it sometimes looks like a golden black here in front. That is pretty cool. So, let's go, let's take a look at this, and does that mean that stuff has been cleaned up, or am I wrong on that? All right, I'm actually going to go for that quick response, we're going to start moving with uh, the... Afterburner, allow my drones to go in and let's see what kind of a volley re we receive from this first. Ooh, and I actually wanted my drones to focus on those first as well. Uh, okay, kind of strange. Didn't really receive any major hits here. So we are going to fly in this direction. Let's take care of the next one. Drones go after this one. So that's my missiles on these point defense batteries. That's not so bad. We get some first few missiles incoming. And then my drones, my small drones going after the others. So let's keep chewing through these guys first. That one is next. Drones can go after you. And then that one. All right. Okay. Let's see. My missiles have a good range, 42 kilometers, so that's gonna be quite decent. And anything left here, that is that one. Drones, go. They're still doing quite alright. And then these guys at 40, well, they're not even hitting me. So it looks like I'm basically outranging that initial risk here at the moment. So that's okay. That's actually really good I, I feel like uh, i am zooming through this um quite effectively i like it next one let's go so first full volley on a point defense battery oh we did trigger something i think that's my drones going after the frigates all right well two full volleys did not clear out that point defense battery we're gonna take care of the rest of these firsts and then we have facility patrollers. Okay, still feels like we'll be doing all right at this point. Let's see. About this one. And then maybe take a look at the Hobgoblin damage on these uh, smaller targets. That could be of interest. While we're gonna get started on that cruiser, on that juggernaut. I'll orbit him at 30. And then one drone here. Well, there's one drone on that, I think, and then one drone here. Let's see how that damage application is, because these are frigates. So that's almost the shields gone. About a third left. Half armor from the second volley. That's not so bad. Oh, and this one has actually had 60 kilometers, so we're gonna have to get a little bit closer to those guys. 
but that's okay. Even those hobgoblins, they get a nice boost in their damage and I feel like they have done quite well. And in this first room, for now, we're actually gonna keep them, I think, just because things do seem to spawn decently far away. So there they go, heading for the Manslayer. And then five of goblins on a cruiser. All right, might actually give us a good idea as well of their capabilities. Go off to the beast. Here's a second one in range for my missiles. Look at that, shields gone. Good chunks of armor gone. In structure. And gone. Not bad, not bad. For five small drones on a cruiser, I think that this is actually pretty decent. So this one needs to die, and then do we get another... Nope, so we're gonna approach the gate at this point, and this is where the challenge will be, because it gets very busy very quickly in the second room. But I am personally right now feeling very much at ease in this curse, knowing that my drones have that extra HP, have that extra damage, they're my main focus. If I have priority targets, uh, I just, you know, focus those uh, with the missiles as well. They really need to be gone, just use all your DPS. But this feels very much in line with some easy uh, PvE, quite uh, quite relaxed and quite capable uh, in this role. And all you need are a more cruiser skills for this ship, uh, rather than also uh, needing... Oh, no, now... We do have another spawn. God damn it, I needed to approach the gate for that one to come in. We do have a slave commander, so we're gonna hit that, that one, and then we're gonna actually use the... Hope up uh, the mediums this time, because we also have a couple of frigates, could be of interest. Uh, we'll, we'll start with the juggernauts, let's see how they perform against that. A little bit of laser fire, but you can see my shield has not been tested so far. We are fast enough to basically avoid that damage. Now let's see how you like one full volley. On the frigate. Let's take a look at that. Missile should be underway. And farmer. Okay. Second one should do it. And look, that juggernaut was gone very quickly. How do my drones. Alright, yep, it's two volleys. That one is gone. How do my drones apply? Oh, good god. <laughs> frigate just deleted. Actually, really happy with that. That was a pretty damn good result. And then a slave commander. Let's see if that guy drops anything. And that's the full DPS to bear on a battle cruiser. So this is actually battle cruiser stats despite the cruiser hull. And the gate has just been unlocked. So that worked out. Let's see if there's any drop in this one. But that is, in my opinion, uh, pretty good. Pretty impressive. Nothing special. All right. Back to the gates. And room number two. Hope for the true Sasha. If I'm not mistaken, in a Sasha watch... Uh, there is not a 100% true Sancha uh, spawn rate. You sometimes just do all of this work, which you can see takes a little bit of time already, just in the first room. Uh, then you've got a challenging second room, and you're not always certain of a faction spawn, let alone uh, a faction drop. 3 out of 10, it's always there. 4 out of 10, the vigil, they're always there. Um, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, that here there is actually uh, a chance that it doesn't come. So that is why I usually skip those. But it's a worthwhile test. And uh, yeah, you can also tell, I think, it takes a while. A big site. Lots of su stuff spawning uh, far away. So quite a bit of travel to do as well. So that gate is now at 14. Keep going. Um, options for the second room. Let me think for just a moment. We could try to cut out most of the damage, or we could rush the uh, true Sasha if he's there right away. I think those are my options. Let's go. Shield tank, as I've said, it's from the Jackdaw, so it's actually a decent amount. 124 HP every 3 seconds. And cap stable, so here we can definitely just leave it on. But this is the second room, you can see we've got turrets, we've got lots of enemies. And then I definitely want to move a little bit as well. I'm gonna start with these guys and my medium drones. We're gonna move as quickly as possible. 
Blah, blah, blah. On the close beast. And then... Oh, true Sasha is there at 94. Okay, definitely gonna approach him. Beast is gone. Devourer. Yep, just basically gone as well. And then... True Sasha. Let's go. True Sasha Plague. Can they go? Yep. Let's, he's going straight for me as well. And definitely looks different from the 3 out of 10. But here we go. Look at everything that is uh, spawned here. That is quite a lot. And so now our tank... Ooh, he was just deleted though. <laughs> by, my, by my hammerheads. That was actually pretty cool. Um, they were just gone. That, that guy was just gone. So we're gonna go for that loot. In the meantime, our uh, tank is being tested a little bit. But you can see the fast wrapping of uh, almost 10% of my HP um, is helping quite a lot, of course, every three seconds. So I'm gonna allow my hammerheads to do their thing. And until one of them like gets shots or some gets shots or something, and why am I still fi where am I? Oh, all right. More missiles. Go. Loot all. Yeah, nothing good. One of my hammers is being attacked, so we're gonna have him return. And I guess that we can. Nothing good. Yep. Look at that. And that's the disadvantage, of course. Hammers are not super fast. Let's move up to Tashinas. Go. Reload all. But yeah. Tank test. Well, it's not that much damage. But considering what's on the field, this actually feels uh, like we held on quite well. Off we go. We are out of here. And yeah, we've been going for like 20 minutes uh, at this point. I think that this was a pretty good test uh, of the curse. I think this confirms... At least for me personally, that uh, yeah, if what you're looking is for that uh, ease of uh, of use in PVE for exploration, but you want that Amar only option, that this is probably the cruiser uh, that you are going to want to choose. That's going to be it for this video, guys. As I've said, if you have a Minmetar ship uh, that you would recommend, definitely put that in the comments. I would love to find one for them as well. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.